law and about how the accused bomber should be treated. Alan Dershowitz talks about that in a moment. But first, New York Republican State Senator Greg Ball, he's advocated torturing Joe Arzanayev if that could save lives. Welcome to you, uh, Senator. You tweeted this. You said, so scumbag number two in custody, who wouldn't use torture on this punk to save more lives? Do you still believe that? Absolutely. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I, I think that uh, you, you interview a lot of politicians. Uh, a lot of politicians are, are full of crap. Uh, they're scared of their own shadow and scared to say what they what they feel. I think that I share the feelings of a lot of red-blooded Americans uh, who believe that if we could save even one innocent American life, including we've seen uh, the, the killing of children, uh, that they would use, and this is as, you know, just for me, uh, that they would use every tool at their disposal to, to do so. But he's an American citizen. Uh, Joe, uh, Joe Arsenayev. He committed a domestic crime in Boston, mm -hmm. and he'll be tried in a U.S. civilian criminal court system. Right. How are you going to torture him? I mean, dude, you're talking to a guy that supports uh, cop, uh, death penalty for cop killers, terrorists. Um, yeah, but how would you torture him? Pierce, I, I, I would support, I'm talking about me. If you want to uh, talk to the President of the United States about his policies, the next time you golf or go play basketball with him, well, I'm you can ask him. I'm, I'm telling you, Greg Ball, but let me I'm telling you, as, as Greg Ball, but you Greg Ball, personally, I'm if, if, Greg if, Ball, but if you personally put in a room with anybody from the most current scumbags to Osama bin Laden, I understand I'm that. telling you what I would do. As far as policy in the United States, you've got to take it up with I understand, man. but obviously if you start Obama. to torture an American citizen for committing a domestic crime in America, you are crossing a Rubicon. Would Here's you do that your, policy? Can I ask you a question? What would you do if you were given the opportunity? Well, I thought been the one tweeting Osama about bin Laden torture. was shot. You I, got 30 minutes of room. What would it's you do? It's really a question would about... You play, would you play cards with Osama yeah, bin Laden? I think what you would you do? Well, let me put this to you. I think if you said that... No, you, you answer this. Right. If you met this guy oh, before he killed... Right. Not right. half. If you met no, this guy before he killed these people right. and turned people into amputees, what would you do? Play yeah. cards? It's not British. Maybe I should have said it in a British accent. This man, this man, these Senator, men killed being, innocent men, can you women, stop being children. Such a jerk? What would you do? Well, Sarah, you do that, you get paid for it. Sarah, so Sarah, I'm glad you told me to your own medicine. Because you tweeted this to the world. Mm -hmm. I'm Absolutely. curious how you think. No, not you. I hate this side of the people. Really offensive. Because you don't like it when you don't have another bobblehead that you can beat up and treat like a, a coward? The reality is, is that these men killed innocent men, women, and children. As a red-blooded American, I said, who out there, right. if it would save an, an innocent American life, that question. would not use torture? Right. I, understand I, for the, one, stand firmly aside. I, understand, I the, understand all the gung-ho language you're using. Right. Here's the point I'm making to you. Yeah. Do you realize that if you torture this man, what you're basically endorsing is the torture of American citizens for committing domestic crimes inside America? Pierce. Would you, as a politician, yeah. want to bring that in well, as a standard matter of practice in your country, yes or no? What I am saying is that as an individual, yes or no? if given the opportunity yes to be no? in a room with somebody like Osama bin Laden, you said that. it would be me, Osama bin Laden, in the baseball bat, I, yes, I, I would use torture as a person. But it's not about you being macho. If I want to be macho, I'd challenge you to an arm wrestling contest. I'm telling you how I feel. Right. That's what I said on Twitter, and that's what I said today. Okay. You so can you ask it a hundred times over, so and I'm going to give you the same answer. Alan Dershowitz. He may have a different answer. Alan, uh, if we can try to keep this as civil as possible, uh, quite difficult uh, currently. This would change everything if you start to torture American citizens for committing domestic crimes inside America. Am I, am I wrong? You're not wrong. I'm as red-blooded an American as uh, anybody, and I go back to Thomas Jefferson, who actually wanted to change the Fifth Amendment, which has very complicated language about self-incrimination, and wanted to have simply an outright prohibition against all torture under all circumstances. Torture is unconstitutional, illegal, in violation of every international treaty, should never under any circumstances be used. Where I agree with him is that it would be used if we actually had a ticking bomb terrorist case. If we actually had a situation where the choice was between letting a bomb go off and killing thousands of people or torturing somebody, every president would allow, even this president who said he wouldn't, would not stop torture from occurring if that could save many, many well, we know, lives. We know President Obama because he kept Guantanamo Bay open, having campaigned originally to say he would close it. So and we know that he'd be prepared to do that. And we know the former Prime Minister of Australia said he would do it. Uh, the very many political figures, given that choice, now that choice almost never presents itself. And certainly in a case like this where we've captured two people, there's no evidence that it goes beyond this 
the use of torture in a situation like this is absolutely and absurd. And I have to clarify the point because he did open up uh, the, uh, the show, but look, I mean, theatrics is good and, and it, it, you know, what, it is what it is, and uh, I know you can take it. But he did open up the show saying, you know, Senator, uh, you know, uh, asked for torture. The tweet was very specific to Alan's point, that if it could save innocent American lives, and that's why I turned it back on him. If you could have met, uh, and I said punks, and I said scumbags, because it's, that's exactly what they were. But if you could have met with them a month ago, two months ago, and stopped this, uh, and if torture would have worked to save those oh, lives. You didn't actually know what I think. Could you, could, you know, could, could, could that have been the point effective? Is you, you didn't and need if it, it could have been effective, yeah. certainly I would have employed it. Okay, let's take so a break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. And do you mind staying for a bit? Stay for a bit. I would love to. Okay. You've had a lot to say. Let's say a bit more after the break. We'll be back with a bit more of this after the break.